y'all can see, we're at the conversation table. So that means we have to have a conversation. Today's conversation is going to be about the Gnome 3 recap. Now usually, you know, usually I don't really get to do recaps because I'm always on the call or some shit. But So I had a lot of time. First off, look, shout out to Smack and URL TV and shout out to New York City because I'm really loving the fact and, and the way that y'all are now booing everybody. Like that shit is crazy to me. Like, let's have a confession. I like it when people get booed, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This goes for everybody, man. This goes for. I enjoy it, man. Like, when... <laughs> y'all don't know, man. Like that shit is like it's no greater joy, man. <laughs> Every time somebody get booed, it don't matter if they from St. Louis or not, man. I'm sorry, just when someone gets booed, that shit arouses the fuck out of me. <laughs> Let me give you a little brief recap. So look, I came in the building, you know, um, I came out on stage. Kid Capri or Don DeMarco said, hey, verb in the building. Now, I'm not battling or nothing like that. So for like three seconds, they was cheering like, yeah, verb. And then it like transitioned. Like it went like one, two, three, then like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck <laughs> I'm like, I ain't even battling. But it's okay. Because y'all at least y'all consistent. No. So <laughs> so listen, we're gonna we're gonna speed this up. So the first battle was Charlie and Magic. That was the first battle. Um now at the venue I spoke to Charlie. And um I know for a fact Charlie had a good first round. Um, Magic had a good first round. See, speed this up. I gotta go Magic two one. After thinking about it, Magic two one. Um, the thing about that shit is, Magic is a punchline rapper, but he's better than Charlie at it. Okay, every okay every battle nigga they have strengths and they have weaknesses. Charlie's strength is he can capture a crowd very well. Like Charlie, if he get on stage, he's gonna capture the crowd. You know, he got a very strong delivery. Does he rap better than Magic? No, not even a fourth. Magic punchlines go somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? Magic punchlines, that they hit you, then they come back and hit you again. So Magic is on another level with the punchline shit. It's just pure at the end. So, you know, first round Charlie had a good first round, Magic had a good first round. I'm with the slight edge to Charlie, I'm thinking, if I remember well. But Magic is so slick that his setups be punchlines. You know what I'm saying? His setups be punchlines, so you you gotta really watch Magic and be like, did you hear that? So did all this shit might change. So I think I got Charlie first round. The next two I next two I think Magic round was a little better than Charlie's. Third round, Charlie was freestyling and playing and Magic smoked him. This battle shit is not about who's good no more. It's about who was liked at the time, okay? Charlie had a moment where he was extremely liked. It's not like that no more, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like, I think as battle MCs, we the best people in the world, you know what I'm saying? So we have to constantly evolve and change things, go back to the drawing board. Like right now, honestly, I think Charlie it, it, it needs to go back to the, go back to the drawing board stage and start over. It's not a knock or nothing, because we all have to do it. I had to do it. You gotta go back, find yourself, and come back again. Like, cause right now Charlie is he he's rhyming, his rhyme his, his it's like his vocabulary is like pubic hair size or some shit. Like it's like he rhymes. You see his shots coming, cause he rhymes shit like bag, mag, jad, sad, like first grade type shit. I think he needs to reset. But it's not a knock against him, cause he's still a professional. He's still a top tier nigga, and you know he gave Magic a shot and Magic shot. Him. Also, Charlie got booed too, and <laughs> that was exciting for me. Like, I think Magic got booed too. It was still exciting, man. Like, when when I hear other people say like, "boo," that shit excites me. But Magic definitely won that battle two one. It might be three on cam. Won't know. Moving on, next battle was um DNA Chiller Jones. Um, DNA won, and not because he out rap Chiller, because Chiller is a better rapper. Chiller can out rap a lot of people, but Chiller hasn't learned that other thing yet. You feel me? Like Chilla has like a um 
chillers just don't hold your attention long enough. Like when you're in a big room and it's thousands of people in there and there ain't no food, Smack makes sure there ain't no food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He makes sure ain't nobody eating and enjoying a good time. There's no seats. I'll be damned if you sit down and, have a, and relax. You're not going to sit down. So you got people standing up from 2 o'clock to 11.30. Their backs hurt. Their legs hurt. They mad. They hot. Water is $5 a bottle. You got to be a lot more entertaining, homeboy. Like, so I think the chiller, and I was, I picked chiller to win. You feel me? But he just didn't, DNA just showed that he was a veteran. DNA just controlled things. He was quicker to the shots and all that shit. But can he out-rap chiller? No. But he was just better. I mean, and like, like chiller is like, he right there. Like chiller is like, when you put that thing in the oven and it's almost done, you got to put it back in. He's like right at that time. He will be ready though, but just not right now. Big T and K shine. Ooh. <laughs> Big T smoke K shine. Now you know I love that. Shit. Like, <laughs> now listen, besides the fact that you know, you know, we, 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 none of us have issues with each other. It's just we all like to compete. And I mean, Big T smoked K shine. Like, he smoked them. Like, K shine. And, and New York tried to help because. Big T had a nice first round. As soon as we started the second round, they started booing. Like, you know, shit that happened to me. <laughs> Big T, and Big T, I'm sorry. I enjoyed you getting booed, man. Like, <laughs> every time one of you niggas got booed, nigga, I was in the corner like, mm, give me this motherfucker. Because I felt like I was being... <laughs> I liked it, Big T, what you mean? I really liked it when they booed K-Shine, though. K-Shine boo? Oh, my God. When they started booing him at the crib? Oh. But Big T smoked him. That's he smoked him. Smoke means you know smoked. That means destroy. We just gonna leave that alone. Um, next battle was a uh, I think Hitman and Khan. Hitman had the best first round of the night. Hitman always good for first round. Like he sets the tone. Like so I I, I got Hitman, Hitman and Khan. Hitman first round. I got Hitman. You know what I'm saying? Khan was doing what he, what he do. Small ass piece of shit. He was doing what he was, what these little tiny ass was to do, saying little shit, and that's what happened. Second round, they both had good second round, but I, Hitman's probably it was edge a little better, and both of them went to much in third. Round. That's how real it's gonna get. Like you know, Khan third round was weak, and Hitman he only think he had one, so you know, <laughs> Hitman won two, two zero. Oh, we gonna say two zero. Oh, we not gonna say two one, because Casita didn't win and. Around to me, that's my opinion. So, little bro got another win. He also lost the coin toss. Some shit he always do. Next one, um, next one, I'm gonna go. Uh, after that, I think it was a. Uh, please, please forgive me if I'm forget I'm forgetting y'all meaningless ass battles and shit. I'm, please forgive me. I had walked off. My head started hurting and shit. Cause probably cause I was hungry. Smack. <laughs> probably I was so hungry and famished and then like you know. We had been there since 2.30, this was, it was well 10 o'clock then, and shit, my body started shutting down, so I went and bought two bottles of that high-ass water for $10, and I was starving, so by that time, <laughs> shit, I don't, none of that shit didn't matter, you know what I'm saying? So, I heard Adrian over the mic, barring Mook to death, but I had a headache, I was starving, so I'm not going to speak on this, and it's Mook, who give a fuck? Let's do Disaster Rex. Disaster Rex. Um, th this was in my headache region from, due to starvation, smack. This is, this is in that region of, <laughs> you know, so my thoughts, my mind might be a little clouded on this opinion, but I think Disaster did very well. I think he did very well. Um, I think he need to get off the mollies because he was screaming like crazy. That nigga, you motherfuckers and motherfuckers. Like, he, he was on drugs. Like. Uh, and Rex was just regular Rex. Rex didn't do nothing spectacular, but Rex was a little more neater. So, I mean, th th that box, th who cares? Just whatever. Now, how little Don is served? Let's get to the show. This is what everybody's been talking about. Okay, everybody, you know, I had put up a tweet and I was like, if Surf survives how little Don, he's the GOAT. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't like to go back on shit I say like that. Okay. Surf is the GOAT. Now, be, now listen, they battle is very close. Now, because I'm a nigga that be on stage and I know how this shit go, 
she is close. Now, um, I think surf is just so loved right now. And one thing I got to say about New York City is y'all didn't stand up with y'all rappers Sunday, like for real, because the inmates took over the building. Only one New York MC got a clear win, and that was DNA. You know what I'm saying? Like the inmates taking over the building, and y'all like when Hollow came out, I felt like the love he's supposed to receive, they didn't give it to him. They didn't even acknowledge that he was in the building. They didn't acknowledge when he came on stage. It was just like, it's like they didn't care no more. But it's the fans' fault because the fans, they forget what niggas do. They forget the work you put in. They just, whatever is the hot thing ever. And it's like hip hop. Like, like who remembers that L. Cool J was the first act signed to Def Jam? Who cares, man? That's how people think. Even though I don't forget those things, the fans forget that shit. Like, Nelly sold 30 million records and people forget that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think um, Hollow was saying some cold shit and was getting no reaction. I'm not lying. Surf was on fire, though. Now, let's back this up, Surf fans. All you Surf fans, for all you niggas start tweeting me with your dreads and <laughs> all that old shit. You know, your dreads and, 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 and your bright flamboyant colors and putting jersey behind y'all tweets to me. Surf was on fire. Surf was good every round. Okay? I don't lie on nobody. Surf was good every round. Period. Hollow was good every round. I think the first round definitely Surf was better. The first round, like he was just better. I think the second round is like it can go like I, I don't. I really have to watch this shit. But the consensus is Surf. Everybody's saying Surf won. That's the consensus. But it's like when it dropped, they gonna all switch and they gonna be like, this is Hollow the Don, hear the shit he's saying. Because he was saying some shit that was so fucking cold, but it wasn't getting no reaction. It's like they, it's like New York City did not stand up with their own people. Jersey was in the building. Jersey rolled with their niggas. It's just period the end. New York, I think, I think that's kind of like, you know, y'all gotta ride with y'all people, man. That's what I think. I mean, you gotta ride with the home team. So, I mean, when it come out, I think it's going to be very good on camera, you know, because people was expecting Hollow to body him, you know, but Surf was on his shits. Like, when, like at our level, when you're a professional, you don't know what you're going to run into. So, you know, I got to salute Surf. Surf hung in there, and regard, whether, whatever it's going to look like on camera, he hung in there, he did his thing. No question. Even if it looked like Hollow more dominant on camera, Surf still, he hung in there and did his thing. So, that's what it is. You don't like my opinion, suck my dick. You know, I don't give a fuck about y'all anyway. So, July 21st, man. The verse <laughs> artist. Now, um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get excited because it's close, you know. Um, Art's gonna do what he gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Just get to the, you know, you know, what I do just seems better. Oh, it's also, um, July 21st, man, you know, July 21st. Uh, it's going down. I was about to say some shit, but I decided not to that quick. I'm learning this camera shit. I got this shit mastered now. So, yeah, July 21st, man. Make sure y'all in the build is going down me and Arsenal. And that's be that. And it was holes at this battle this time, too. So, I had to shout them out. I was really shocked about that, too. Um, 